Let's take a look at the blood vessels that branch out of the aorta. This portion of the aorta is going up. This is named ascending aorta. When the aorta makes a turn and it looks like an arch, this is named aortic arch. And then the aorta starts going down within the thoracic cavity. That would be named thoracic aorta. However, we cannot see that in this model. When the aorta crosses the diaphragm, then the aorta is within the abdominal cavity. Consequently, the portion of the aorta that is within the abdominal cavity is named abdominal aorta. So all this is the abdominal aorta. Now we can see here the three unpaired branches of the abdominal aorta. And the top one is named celiac trunk. The middle one is named superior mesenteric artery. And this inferior one is named inferior mesenteric artery. Now, how you remember the order of these branches? You remember CSI. So, celiac trunk, superior mesenteric artery, and inferior mesenteric artery. Obviously, the superior mesenteric artery is superior to the inferior one. That's why they were named like that. The celiac trunk, as the name implies, it is a trunk and it will have several branches. And the branches are the different blood vessels we see branching out of the celiac trunk. One of the branches goes up towards the stomach that you would find right here. So this is named left gastric artery. Another branch of the celiac trunk goes towards the spleen. Consequently, this artery is named splenic artery. Another branch of the celiac trunk goes towards the liver. And this branch is named common hepatic artery. When the common hepatic artery is properly located inside the liver, then it receives the name of hepatic artery proper. So we say that this one up to where it branches is named common hepatic artery. And then after it branches and it is properly located within the liver, this is the hepatic artery proper. And you need to remember that is hepatic artery proper, the last word is proper, because it's always proper to let someone go before you in a door. So you say hepatic artery proper, because it's proper to let the word artery to go before the word proper. And you say common hepatic artery. Also branching out of the abdominal aorta, we see this artery that's going towards the kidneys. Consequently, these are named renal arteries. The abdominal aorta ends by splitting into two arteries, which are named common iliac arteries. The common iliac arteries split, and that's why they were named common, right? And when the common iliac arteries split, you have the external iliac artery on the external aspect, and the internal iliac artery, which stays internally, going towards the pelvic cavity. Now, this is the right side, and this is the left side. So, this would be the right common iliac artery. After it splits, we have the right external iliac artery, and we have the right internal iliac artery. And the same thing we would have on the left side. When the external iliac artery passes the pelvic girdle or the inguinal canal, so we are using this as our anatomical delimitation, the external iliac artery will become the femoral artery.